up, Captain America? Up. Say some. That was very convincing. Calles, C A L L E S. Like, they make models of dead people? I'm saying you think that's like a cool thing. <laughs> He did what? <laughs> what does he feel like? Uh, hey. Should have read first. No, that's what I read right here for promotional purposes only. <laughs> Simpsons episode ever online to stream for free. Hey, I'm moving there in two weeks. That's how we that's how we get to the med school from our apartment. It just zip line out the window. Guys, please back up a little bit. Please and thank you. So if, if I had to give up my motorcycle, I guess I could deal with one of these. Or the helicopter. Is that who that was? Yeah. This one. <laughs> <laughs>
I already know all that stuff. I graduated from a Catholic university. <laughs> I took two years of theology and philosophy classes. This is this looks like rain? This does not look like rain in Houston. tell you what happened um i didn't do any of the stuff i said i was gonna do yesterday nah <laughs> did have a really great day though i'm still at yasmin's house it's uh sunday morning it's like nine o'clock um so we had uh first thing we did yesterday is i went with ulysses uh who's my friend yasmin's husband we went with Ulysses to um, their son's kung fu class. <laughs> so they, they have a, I think he's six, six-year-old son, Alex. Like, sweetest kid ever. Um, but uh, we took him to kung fu. We had some coffee, came back, had a, I think Yasmin called them chilaquiles. I called them migas for breakfast. Uh, they're really good. Yasmin threw down. And it wasn't all greasy and oily. It's good food. Way to go. Um, and then, uh, well, we ended up going to uh, the San Diego Convention Center uh, to go, like, scope out everybody from Comic-Con, like the cosplayers and stuff. And uh, they have some booths outside still that are, like, just, it's really advertising, but it was fun, you know? Uh, and Alex, the, the son, he's, like, he's almost as into superheroes as I am. <laughs> so we were talking about superheroes the whole time. Um, and that was great. Uh, I love being around my fellow geeks because I so rarely get to be that side of myself. You know, the comic book loving. Like, I saw someone who was dressed up as a guy from, it was this chick, actually. Uh, she was pretty hot and bald head, but that kind of fit the character she was dressed up as anyway. Um, but she was dressed up as this guy from a comic book called Transmetropolitan which is like really niche. It's only comic book nerds have ever even heard of. And I saw her and I like I noticed she was wearing like some really distinctive sunglasses that the main character of the comic book wore and I, I was trying to place it and I said like trans metropolitan and the way her face lit up like the smile that was great. <laughs> it was like it's like yes, you're also a nerd. Great. So nice to meet you. <laughs> um I got sunburned. I, I don't know if it comes through in the video, but uh, my ears, my face, my nose, back of my neck, because I just didn't plan for that. Uh, <laughs> um, then we went out to eat, had some beers. We went to meet one of uh, Ulysses' 
he's uh, possessive is hard to say we went to see one of his his like his boss or something was having a baby shower drank some there and then uh i came back to jasmine's house changed clothes and went out to go scope out like downtown and do some like clubbing and dancing and stuff and i don't know if it was because well first of all downtown was packed and it was still full of like all the people dressed up in costumes and that was cool um but the dance club wasn't super great like I had to convince the bouncer to let me in uh and you know if if it's a club like that in Houston where you gotta work to get in it's pretty cool on the inside you know and maybe it's because there was all these people from everywhere and that's why they were making it hard to get in so it really is just an average club but I didn't I mean they they played like the same music all I mean not the same music but like boring music you know and the people were like the dudes were super lame like <laughs> I'm not trying to say I'm any better than anybody but like it was a couple bunch of dudes like walking around way drunk and like grabbing up on girls and stuff like that's not cool it's not classy you don't expect that in a club that has like a velvet rope in front of the door like the dude who was bouncing I don't think he was even gonna let me in because I, I like I asked him I asked him you know hey man what's the cover charge you know that's how you get past the bouncer and uh he wanted more money than I wanted to pay so I said well how long is the wait <laughs> and uh he kind of just pointed off to the side he's like well the line right here you know, ain't nobody in line so I lean up and I say, hey, man, come on. I came all the way here from Houston, Texas on a motorcycle. I just want to go dance. And he was like, oh, for real? How'd you get here from Houston, huh? How'd you get here? I said, what do you mean? He said, well, you can't have just come straight from Houston. I said, no, I slept in El Paso. And he said, no, nah, but I mean gas because you, you had to stop and get gas. And I was like, yeah, I had to get gas like every 90, 100 miles. And he's like, oh, okay, yeah, I ride a R6 and so we talked a little, we talked for a little bit about motorcycles and then he was like, you know what, I'm gonna let you in only because you another rider. And I said, that's fine, dude, whatever. Just let me go in. <laughs> um, they did have a really good bar in there. They were making good margaritas. About the same price as what they cost in uh in Houston. Like people keep telling me that this city is more expensive and that it was especially expensive because of Comic Con, but like Patron Margarita was like thirteen bucks, and that's I mean, you pay thirteen or fourteen bucks for one at a nice club in Houston too, so I ain't notice it. Um, but the bars were more fun than that club was because like, I met I met a bunch of cool, like dressed up people and stuff in the bars. I didn't really get a lot of good pictures or video or nothing of that because like people aren't really comfortable with that usually. <laughs> Not in bars. On the street, sure, but in a bar, you know, what happens in the bar, people stay in the bar. Uh, but the coolest dude, man, it was a dude dressed up like John Travolta from Pulp Fiction with the long hair and everything. And he was like running around dancing, like doing a twist and stuff. <laughs> it was great. It was great. Um, and I got back here at like two in the morning, crashed out on the couch watching like ESPN or something with Ulysses. <laughs> um, but man, it was a pretty, it was a really good day. It was, man, the city is so beautiful. Like just being out on the water and all that. It was really great. Um, no motorcycling, really. I mean, I rode my bike downtown and parked it. And it was awesome because parking is a nightmare in downtown San Diego right now because of Comic-Con. But, like, I parked right in front of the places I wanted to go, you know, because it's a bike. <laughs> um, so, uh, did have a profound thought yesterday. It's an old one, but... I had it again. Cause me and Ulysses were talking while we were waiting for Alex to finish Kung Fu class. And it's, you know, he and I had pretty similar, not the same, obviously, but like, but like we had similar um, childhood. You know, like he left home really early too, had some issues with his parents and stuff. Um, and it's like, it's a trip. Or not a trip, but it's interesting to see how we each handled those situations differently. And we're in very different places in our lives right now, you know, like Ulysses has a family and a house and well I mean he rents his house because he's in the military, but <laughs> but he has a family and he has like a a real 
cohesive life, you know? And I kind of don't. Um, and we were talking about how, you know, there's more to life than career. And I admitted that until about a year ago, I didn't understand that. I, I found that out a little too late, you know, when I had already lost the opportunities that had presented themselves for me to have more than just a career. You know, for me to have a life, I had already lost those opportunities. And they'll come around again, maybe. But at this point, I'm so far in. Like, you know, I know my whole life doesn't have to be med school and studying and stuff, but a good portion of it is going to be. So it's going to be really hard to find that that balance, you know. But I'm going to try because, like I told Ulysses, that, man, I'm like very envious, envious of the life that he has. You know, like, just, like, being able to, to cool out and relax and be content with what you got, you know? That's something I never learned. Um, so, you know, it wasn't super helpful because I already knew all that stuff about myself. <laughs> but it was still a good talk, and it was good to remind myself of those things. Uh, so the plan for today, I still didn't get... Uh, another case for my GoPro, so I'm going to have to do that as soon as I leave here. I might try to get Yasmin to let me use her washing machine, too, because I'm starting to run low on clothes. <laughs> um, I already booked a hotel for tonight. Uh, I'm going to be staying uh, in a hotel on Long Beach, like literally on, almost on the beach. I, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I already Googled like 10 places to go dancing in L.A. tonight. <laughs> Um, and if I get there early enough, I'm just going to go cruise around, see stuff, take pictures, um, and uh, start wearing sunscreen. That's also on the list. Hey, let's not get sunburned anymore because that's a bummer. The back of my neck is going to suck because that's kind of exposed on a motorcycle most of the time. Um, I miss a lot of you guys, you know, like the people that I'm close to back home. Uh... I guess this is good practice, right, for New York. I'm not going to be able to see anybody anymore. At least right now, I'll have a couple days when I get back to still say hi to everybody <laughs> and bye to everybody. Um, I miss y'all. Uh, remember to show everyone and everything love and let good things happen to you because they will. Peace out, guys.